Hey, what's up friends and welcome back to the gentleman's journey. In this one, we're gonna be cleaning my Red Wing Iron Rangers 8111s. Now this is the amber harness leather. Guys, this is an awesome leather. I've been at this boot for almost a year. Don't forget to subscribe because we'll be doing that one year review. But in this one, we're just gonna be cleaning them. Now guys, I've definitely taken some care of these, but I haven't done it regularly. It's not like something I've done every month or anything, but as you can tell, I have my cobbler's choice. I have my boot trees in there. So guys, that's something that I think have really helped these boots uh, through the past year. And I really think it's something you guys should check out. I did a video on them. So make sure and go over and click that after this one's done. But guys, I'm gonna do a better deep clean here. So I'm gonna be taking the laces out. So I got the lace out on this one. I think I'll just do the right boot for you guys so you can see a before and after. Some of the supplies I have, a horsehair brush, again, a video on that, make sure you have one of those. And then we're gonna go all Red Wing. Now guys, I've kept this all Red Wing across the board because I just wanna kinda do an experiment and keep the patina up, all that. So I have the Red Wing leather cream here. We're gonna be running that eventually. I have their foam cleaner, little sponge that comes with it, and then the leather protector. This is gonna go on afterwards. I have a bowl of water with a little dead bug in there. We'll try to get him out. All right, he might end up on the boot. And then I have my little dauber brush. So guys, I like the dauber brush because I think it does a really good job cleaning. Now, before I start cleaning with the actual foam cleaner, I'm gonna hit it with a horsehair brush. Guys, this is getting all that leather agitated. It's getting all the dust off because the last thing we want to do is work any kind of dirt into the boot. Guys, boots, this leather used to be living organism. Now this stuff here still has pores, still kind of needs to breathe. And the last thing you want to do is clog the leather with those pores. This has instructions on it, how much you should use, how much you shouldn't use. Uh, I don't get too picky. Dump some in my water. And guys, we're gonna start going to town. So I don't wanna use the foam brush cause see, I can get down in that well. Don't forget, this is a 270 degree Goodyear style welt. So I can get this thing all sudsy. We're gonna get this really clean. Try to make this as quick as possible for you guys. Hey, I'm not going out there and kinda trend setting. This isn't anything that Red Wing hasn't offered. So maybe you've watched some of their videos. Don't expect to kind of learn anything edgy from this video. We're simply just cleaning the boots because it's time. These boots get a lot of wear. I wear them a couple times a week and they have, you know, put me through a lot and it's time to give back to them. So then I'm just gonna take a cloth this is actually a Red Wing cloth, but who cares? An old t-shirt, a shop rag, whatever you got. What now we're wiping away that dirt. And the water, excess water, all that dirt. Of course, guys, it's no surprise because the boot is wet. You're already gonna start seeing some difference. This is just a wet boot. It's not darkening the leather any bit. So I think we got this pretty dry and now it's time to put the cream on. This stuff's so pure. Uh, again, I did a whole video on just this cream. It's the Neat's Foot Oil Blend. I just put it on with my fingers. No dramas there, guys. I go kind of wild with this stuff and I'm gonna end up hitting it with the horsehair brush. This does still need agitated, still worked into the leather. And that's where I think your horsehair brush can work that in. Uh, I talk a lot about getting to understand or growing a relationship with your leather. That way you know how thirsty it is. Uh, if, you, if, if you have kids, you know, your kids need some water every now and then. You start understanding when they need, or yourself, you start knowing when you're thirsty. Well, the boots are the same thing. Same would be your saddle. Same with your leather wallet, your belts. Guys, all this stuff needs our care. 
and it'll it'll give back. These these boots give back to me time and time again. I mean, they just keep giving and keep giving, and they don't ask for a lot. So if you've watched my videos, at the end of every video, I say two things: God bless, and hey. Don't forget to give those boots some love from time to time. And that's all it really is, guys. Just from time to time, come in and grab some conditioner. We're not gonna make a big deal out of it. Laces off. This is the best treatment this boot can have, guys. This is all at once. This is all Red Wing stuff. It's all approved. Again, we're not setting any trends. We're not going crazy. It's a really simple process. If you want, while these are going, you can drop these down in that soapy water and clean your laces. This is one of those situations where I would say, ideally, you have a different set of boots that you can wear tomorrow and let these ones have a day of rest. If you look in scripture, it talks about the Sabbath. You have a Sabbath day of rest. Well, sometimes your boots need that. Friends, I almost wish this boot could stay that color all the time. How good is that? I might just mink oil it and scare the heck out of some of you guys because that is a cool look. But this thing is ready to go a couple more weeks, months, depending on the use, however I get out of it, it's ready to go. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just, you know, we're actually coming into winter before you know it. it's gonna be here. I'm just gonna miss that. Nothing too crazy. We're not complicating anything here. Get that tongue. And there it is, guys. Friends, it's an easy process. If you had two or three more boots, you can do that all right here in one setting. Everything's out. I think it's a fun, enjoyable thing. It's all about stewardship. I've been given these boots because I went out and worked for it. I got my money, I bought these boots, and now I want them to last. You know, this is all about stewardship. And these boots could last you a long time. They're completely resolable. You can put a new outsole on there. You can even put a new toe cap. These are some really good boots. Make sure if you haven't, check out my video on the Iron Ranger. Friends, I really hope you're enjoying this process. If there's anything I left out, any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer those for you guys. Let me know in the comments below. I get to each and every comment. I love the comment section of The Gentleman's Journey. You guys are awesome. You're always giving me boot ideas. It's a fun little community we have there. So at any rate, friends, until the next video, God bless you, and hey, don't forget to give those boots some love from time to time. Mm -hmm.